Hello. Uh, again, Dr. Matt Bice, uh, Dean of Graduate and Online Education, here from the Dean's Desk. You know, it's been a really exciting last month and last uh, couple of days, uh, and I'm really excited to share some of this stuff with you. Just the other day, we had our faculty conference. As I have uh, articulated before, this is a conference that initially started off as being embedded inside of SBGS. And over the months, over the last uh, year, it's evolved to include the College of Arts and Science and the, Coll and the School of Nursing. It's a really exciting time, and I can't praise the faculty services team enough in, in taking this vision and making it into a reality. A couple other things are on the horizon, a couple of really cool events that I'd like to share with you. On April the 12th, we have an alumni event. Um, and this alumni event is really focusing on getting our alumni from GSOE, SPGS, back together and recreate that camaraderie and reignite those relationships and conversations, not only between each other, but also with our staff and faculty. We also have on April the 18th is our Day of Giving. This is such a wonderful time, and it's, I'm very humbled to be part of this event and all the generosity from alumni from not only Kansas City and Kansas, but across the country, Baker alumni that come to support Baker University. If you visit our alumni page, you can find more information about the Day of Giving. On top of that, we have Alumni Weekend. Alumni Weekend is on May the 18th, and to dovetail, dovetail with the social event, May the 18th is an opportunity to where alumni events are coming on and there's, there's, there's people, there's alumni from all over the state, all over the region, back in Baldwin City, to celebrate commencement and celebrate the friendships that they've made over the last couple of years or 10 years. Commencement this year is on May the 19th. This is probably one of my favorite times of the year because you can really see all the hard work go into to one day, right? And you get to see the students and how happy they are. And as they smile walking across the stage and their family sitting in the stands, smiling and celebrating and sometimes doing their air horns, right? And, and celebrating, but the, the excitement around commencement is indescribable. You know, before we go into to a couple of things that have been going on, I'd like to do a quick shout out. On April 20th of this month, um, Pam Best, Dr. Pam Best, myself, Stephanie Hill, Charles E. Prosser, um, and Phyllis Chase will be meeting with our CAPE accreditation. And this is where we get to answer any last questions before our CAPE accreditation site visit is finalized. I want to spotlight Dr. Pam Best. Pam has been our leader, our fearless leader with all accreditation. And on April 20th is when we get to close that chapter and start planning for in the future. Dr. Best is an absolute joy to work with. Um, her sense of humor, uh, the creativity she to brings to meetings, uh, the, the camaraderie that she has with the people around the office is second to none. Pam, thank you for everything that you've done for us for accreditation, uh, for the CAPE accreditation. We are so thankful and so grateful that you're on our team. A couple of other things that occurred this past month was we had our first EAC, Educational Advisory Council meeting. This meeting brought together educational professor, uh, professionals from across the state into a localized area here in Overland Park to talk about our offerings. This was an opportunity for us to, to get critiqued, for others to look at our program and tell us what they liked, things that they disliked, and to really, really give us some insightful feedback on our academic offerings. We also have, um, on the SBGS side, uh, our Master's of Science in Sports Management 4 plus 1 degree that will be going through governance this month. We also have a new honors program that I'm really proud of that's going to be going on for our SBGS undergraduate students. It's going through governance as well. The honors program is something that especially is especially important because it highlights our exemplary students at the undergraduate level. And mind you, these are online students. So being able to recognize them with this distinction is very, very important. It's another way that we can, we can spotlight our students and, and celebrate their achievements. You know, as I mentioned on, on May the 19th, it's graduation. 
this is a time to be thankful. This is a time to, to celebrate the achievements of, of our students. But it's also a time to celebrate the achievements of our faculty, our staff, and our student and our faculty services team that have paved the way and created all these opportunities for students. I couldn't be more thankful and humbled to work for such a hardworking team. Thank you for everything that you, you do, and hopefully we'll see you at one of the events. Bye. Thank you.